I just feel like I got I'm a I'm a come in there with something that you know a lot of a lot of guys he fought tough fighters and stuff, but you know styles make fights. I feel like I'm gonna have a you know a more matchable style that can you know match some of the things he do as well. So I just feel like uh, it's gonna be one of them them fights where you know he gonna be real like uh, he gonna be sharp and stuff, but it's gonna be a lot of he can't make the type of mistakes that he make with those other guys against me. You know, um, you got a guy who got speed and athleticism just like you. You know, uh, he going he gonna have to be on top of his game. And like I keep saying, like we got a game plan. You know, for uh, we got a game plan for him. You know, Frank Martin sends a chilling warning to Gravanta Davis ahead of the fight. It's only days away from now, and Frank Martin has a master plan to hand tank his first loss. Yep, you heard that right. This guy has no nerves coming into this fight. His confidence seems to be unbreakable. This is a closer fight than what most people think. And hey, we saw Frank Martin in the open workout. And from what I can tell, Frank is going to be looking for a one-punch co. Now those are some lethal hooks that Tank has got to watch out for going into this fight. However, word on the street is Tank is taking his opponent very lightly. Just take a look at what Tank told PPV comms Jim Lampley. Floyd established that Kraft can handle that. Does he have the kind of Kraft that might give you trouble, or is he not an elite? He has the Kraft, uh, I mean, he's, he's... Is he the boxer in the fight? It depends. It, it depends if I want to be the boxer. You know what I mean? That's what make me. I don't want to say great, but you can say it. I, got, yeah. I know that's what you believe. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I don't think for a second that you don't yeah, think you're great, yeah. right? Yes, but it, it just what make me like so good. It just I know how to make a fighter do what I want to do inside the ring. You know what I mean? And when he start doing it, that's when I can. Pick them apart. Now, if I were Gervonta Davis, I would give more credit to Frank Martin. There's a reason why he's got zero losses. Now, that's something you got to take into account. Take it from one of the best in the scene, Errol Spence Jr., who warned Tank about the danger Martin poses. See him getting his hand raised. I mean, I feel like he, he he's the most skilled, talented fighter that that Tank ever fought. Like. It's one of those he can't he can't take those early rounds off and feel like he's gonna come in the seven eight round and hope for a knockout. I feel like Frank gonna dominate him first through twelfth round and win a fight. I mean, Tank gonna put up a fight. You know, he's a great fighter, but I feel like <clears throat> Frank definitely gonna take it. I feel like he's the best fighter. He's a fighter. He gonna see the speed. He gonna see the the strength. He gonna see the power that Frank brings to the table on fight night. Errol Spence Jr. knows what he's talking about. They basically call him the truth. So if you're one Gervonta Davis fan, you can only hope he watched this clip. And not to mention a recent interview with Davis's head coach, Kenny Ellis, shows that he's more concerned about the business side of the fight than the actual battle. According to Coach Kenny, it's more like an event than a boxing match. Now you can't make this up. He did say it. Just take a look yourselves. I love him, you know? It's, it's, it's more like an event than it is a boxing match, you know? People dress up like they're going to uh, the, the Grammys. Now, if your coach is more worried about how big the event is going to be rather than focus on dealing with the opponent, then you're in deep trouble. Tank is coming off a year-long break. There's a thing called ring rust, and that could certainly affect the outcome of this fight with Frank Martin. Now, to talk about Martin, he's not unfamiliar with handing undefeated fighters their first L. Yep, that's right. Michael Rivera, who had a record of 24 wins and zero losses, tasted the bitterness of a loss when he stepped into the ring with Frank Martin. Martin knows he's the underdog against Tank, but this actually works in Martin's favor because he's one to shock the critics when he's the underdog. The saying goes, you know, somebody's O has got to go. What do you to him to go in there and do something nobody's done 
to hand Tank his first defeat? Uh, you know, I feel like I feel like I got a lot of things that you know him, the world, a lot of people may not expect that I got. You know, so um, I'm just ready to go in there and, and capitalize off of the moment. When you look at the odds, obviously they're going to favor someone like that. Do you even do you even put that in your mind, or do you embrace that? Because if nobody's giving you a chance to win, you get to get to shock the world. People can make some that, money with you. That shit embraced, you know. I like I say, I say, bet with me, win with me. You know, like that shit is one of them things. Like I embrace it. You know, I'm 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 eating off of it. You know, it's fueling me. So it is what it is. You know, it ain't gonna change. So. You know, I just got to go out there and, and do the unexpected one. Having accepted the role of the underdog, Frank Martin is ready for war. Sharp as ever. However, most boxing professionals believe this fight ends in Tank's favor. Now that's the least surprising thing you've heard today. For obvious reasons, Tank has the edge over Martin. The guy who's fought Frank Martin multiple times. Abraham Nova exposed. Frank saying that he's got a cat's chance in hell against Gervonta Tank Davis. Now that spices things up for sure. Ask you before uh, you get out of here, big fight next Saturday, Tank and Frank Martin. Um, what, what, what's your, you know, kind of quick breakdown analysis of that matchup for the fans? It's a, it's a, it's a so, you know, I, I'm a bit subjective with that, with that matchup. Uh, it's because I fought Frank in the amateur church and I wiped, I wiped him out. You know, I, he fought me once the first time he fought me, he beat me at the golden gloves, but I wasn't training because I had just won the USA nationals and they had begged me to go to the golden gloves, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to compete at that tournament. And then after that, we fought again at the Olympic qualifiers. And I gave, like, I the way I beat him, it was like there was no way he was supposed to, you know, be in the ring with me, you know. So um, when I fought him, he seemed, he seemed very green to me when I fought him at the Olympic qualifier. He seemed very green to me. Got good skills, no good movement, but um, he seemed very green. And, um, and then watching him fight his couple fights, I seen that he doesn't adapt very well, so he fights the same style throughout the whole 10, 12 rounds. He doesn't know how to, like, uh, you know, adjust and do different things. Um, and just by seeing that and then him fighting Tank, I could see him having some success. Four, three rounds, he's looking pretty good. But I could see tape, um, tapering him off and, you know, knocking him out or winning by decision. But, um, yeah, I could see him having su some success early rounds because he's very technical and, and he fights a good style in the beginning but then um once you get his timing and his rhythm he doesn't know how to adjust and change he'll keep doing the same thing and i could see tank uh, picking him apart devin haney the guy who is coming off a controversial loss against ryan garcia that left the world speechless gave his prediction for how this fight will play out you think tank gets past frank just kind of yeah confidently just no no, no I, th I, th I think that um no i think that tank beats him i mean if you we haven't seen Frank Martin at the, the, the highest level, the elite level. Um, I'm not saying that he's not elite, but we just haven't seen him. Um, do I think do I think he gonna go in there and lay down? No, I think I think he gonna go in there. You know, he gonna try to get his respect, and uh, he gonna fight back. But um, I just think that the tank is you know has the experience, you know has ha has the skills, and uh, will be victorious. But 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 um, will it be easy? Um, I can't say, but what I, what do I think that um, you know, what's him gonna go? Uh, Frank Martin gonna go in there and uh, show that you know he's he he, he is a, a contender. Yes. Now on to what Ryan Garcia said about this fight. Well, this one sparks a lot of controversy. Did you know Ryan Garcia and Frank Martin used to be the best of friends? Well, that was until Garcia tweeted this. 
I will bet one million that Gervonta will co-Frank Martin within seven rounds. I love Frank, but the truth is the truth. Yeah, this did not sit well with Frank Martin, who then proceeded to call Ryan Garcia fake. You know, um, it you know, it doesn't seem like there's bad blood. It seems like it's a lot of just competitive fighting spirits. So um yeah. a person who I thought maybe stable mate was really cool was Ryan Garcia, who made his pick on social media and kind of switched. Um, he's also made some comments like he's not your friend, um, because maybe he wants to fight Earl and you're with Earl. Um is that Ryan just helping promote the fight? You know how Ryan is? Or is is, is, is there some truth to, like, you guys don't really get along? I mean, no. Nah, like, no, nah, he was he was cool. You know, he was cool. But, like, me, I, I don't care what he say. You know, I wouldn't get on and talk down or, you know, like, he went from all uh, Frank, from his, his first conference, all uh, Frank win to Frank going to get, I bet, a million dollars against him. Like, that shit's fake to me. You know, like I don't, I don't fuck with people like that. You know, that's fake. I don't care if it's promoting, building. That shit's fake. You know, so I ain't, I ain't with all that. Like I'm the type of person I rock with who I rock with, and you know that's why my circle be small how it is because it's too, it's, it's fake. You know, like even with him saying that, I still ain't going down talking bash his name. I'm, it is what it is. You know, let him lose his money. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Garcia can have his own views, but that's not what the ghost is going at him for. Garcia, at first, predicted Frank Martin to beat Tank in the pro bout. Yep, he switched up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Frank because I'm going to be there every step of the way and put him on game. Like, this is what he likes to do. This is what he will do. Boom, boom, boom. You'll end up stopping Javante? No, nah, I don't want to. Right. You never know. Yep, so you can't blame Martin for firing at Garcia. A guy who recently sparred with Davis Kenny Sims gave his insights on how this epic fight goes down. Mm. How do you think his uh, fight with Frank goes? Mm. I think he wins. Like, I've been in there with Frank, too. Uh, I think he wins. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think he, I, think he, I think he wins. Give him more insight, because you know, like, then, then we could draw from it. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I think he wins the fight. But Frank is good. Yeah, like Frank's a good fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. It, I just like when I watch him. It just seems like um, he actually just checks a lot of boxes. Like he Frank, is fast. He does have nah, pop. He, he's a he, good fighter. Good defense. Good footwork. Like he's a good fighter. I just think Frank. I mean Tank. Uh, Tank gonna get him. Tank gonna get him. It's just, maybe a, even a matter of experience in those moments. You know, like I ain't never had one of those moments in that big like a big super fight. Right. Like, Tank knows how that goes. He's pay per view stars. So he don't even know how that's gonna affect Frank. One factor that plays a huge role in the outcome of this fight is that these two have clashed before in a heated spar. And the talk of the town is that Frank Martin bested Tank Davis. Everyone who has sparred with Davis, they've all spoken highly of him, but Martin, on the other hand, did not seem impressed with him at all. Let's look at what he said right after their spar came to an end. Frank Martin, Frank man up. You know, it's too bad people can't see, but that was amazing sparring just now with you and Javante Davis. Mm -hmm. What'd you make of that session? It was good work. You know what I mean? Got to get in there with the world champion. I held my own. He held his. Good experience. Good experience. Uh, people will be interested to see what you thought of, of everything. The power, the speed, the skills. What, what was your assessment of Tank Davis? He's sharp. You know, you got to have some, like, you got to have some power. You got to be able to, you know, you got to be able to hold your own in there. Tank and beast. What'd you think of the, the punching power? Power. He got some power. He could crack. Yeah, he crack. You, for, uh, for, you know, sparring guys 130, 135, was he like maybe the best puncher you ever sparred? Nah. What did you think power. of the skills? Good, good. Good timing. He's sharp. Good. He's on point. Mm -hmm. He's on point. Frank Martin, later on, elaborated more on this hot topic, which left all the fans questioning Tank's abilities. Like, we was fighting. When I, when I hit him with that shot, and he grabbed and got the grab and all that. That's when we got to like, mm. you know, we got to just fight. That last round, they broke it up. So like, I'm thinking niggas finna, we finna bang. Like, like it acted. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm thinking we is. So I hurry up, get out the ring, go change my clothes, and then I get interviewed as soon as I come back. Yeah. And I'm like looking like, like where you know, you I'm, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> he was gonna try to sneak me yeah. or something, but it was, right. it was a little off, you know, like. So I feel like he thought he was gonna, he was gonna do me how he did them. And it was, it, it wasn't, I wouldn't go. 
you know. Yeah, pull up, did he hurt you in sparring? Right. I feel like I seen him say, he, he, you saw that interview? Big cap. <laughs> big cap. <laughs> I know you seen that interview where yeah, he I said. Yeah, I seen it. He, he said, said, he said, he said something. So maybe he heard him like I said before. Big cap. Like yeah. Big cap. So did you feel like you heard him? Was he, was you in your head like, oh, I just hurt Tank this yeah, man? I heard that man. Yeah? Uh, Facts? Yeah. Woo, it's not a lot of people that can say that, Frank. I'm just I'll let you know. Not a lot of people that say that about Tank. They had a fiery dispute over this when they sat down together for an interview ahead of the fight. I mean, anyone would be scared to go head to head with Tank Davis. It's possible that Frank Martin was doubtful before their spar, but after the spar, he realized Tank was not worth the hype. However, Gravanta Davis explained his side as he stated, You caught me one time. I sparred already. He was scared to spar. I jumped on him. He's a southpaw. He threw the brick hand. Boom. That's what caught me. It wasn't like boom and hell no. Everybody in here know. If I get touched, I'm coming on that. We know Tank's ego is too big for some guy to say he got the better of him in sparring. That's something Tank won't turn a blind eye to. He's already taking shots at Frank, making the most of their buildup and getting to him mentally. And Tank has been putting in the work. I'm telling you. That's how you do it. It's a different beast in front of him. It's a different beast in front of him. Nobody that's walking with him, holding him hand in hand, is it's, not going to be able to save just, him June the 15th. It's just I'm me telling and you. you. And it's you a lot of shit built up. You it's a lot right. built it's up. And, you. and I'm going to take it out on him. Sorry to be, it's going to be hey. him. I'm telling you. I, I guess promise we go, you. I guess we both got a lot of shit built up. All right. Thank you very much, Tank. Recent training footage shows his slick movement and some power combos that could really turn the ghost into an actual ghost. Teofimo Lopez is one of the names on Tank's list of potential opponents. He broke down the fight on June 15th from a neutral stance, revealing what each fighter can do to get the job done. I think that if Frank Martin goes and presses Tank Davis without showing him any respect, then we should see a different type of outing. However, if he comes in there just respecting the power and the hype behind Javante Davis, then um, I believe that will be an early night for, um, for Frank Martin. Another one of Tank's potential opponents, Shakur Stevenson, gave his predictions in favor of Gervonta Davis. Not only did he say Tank will win, but he also said he's going to win by annihilation. Before I let you get out of here, man, I only got you for a couple more minutes. Um, you know, Tank Tank keeps talking about with this Frank Martin fight. One, one thing that's going to catch up with Martin is you started at 15 years old, 16, whatever it was. I started at 7 or 8. And do you agree with that sentiment? Because you started at that age, too, around seven or eight. Do you have an advantage over a guy? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I, I mean, he's not lying. Um, honestly, the way that I look at that fight, it's just levels. Like, it's levels to the fight. Um, Tanky going to go in there, fill him out, figure out that he's really not on his level, and then he's going to annihilate him and feel like he's on top of the world because he annihilated somebody that's a C-level. The odds are stacked against Frank Martin, but it's a mistake to underestimate the guy. This undefeated fighter is poised to demonstrate his skills on the biggest stage. This is his make-or-break moment. If he succeeds, it'll be a historic achievement, crowning him as the new king of the division. You heard what he said. Tank can't afford to make mistakes with Martin in the ring. If Davis slips up even slightly, it'll be lights out for him and he can say goodbye to his perfect record. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.